Hey, how's it going, guys? Welcome back to another video. We are here at the uh, Westbrook Car Show, and uh, we just got the truck all cleaned up. We have our uh, we just tire shot the tires. We haven't done that since we restored the truck, so looks good. Hit needed it. They were getting pretty dry looking. We are so far in the class. It's a John's Honda, and we have a Mark Celica, Shaq's LS400. I think we have another front with an LS400 coming into the class but we just pulled in it, it's just 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 starting to start it's we're pretty early but i'll go walk around and show you what's here all right guys this is sick so this is my friend adam's s10 he is uh he's bagged if you haven't seen it before but check out this man he's got the bed cover on this year uh last year he did the uh chrome diff cover and um oh man there's just so much like new with this truck right now here's what she looks like i mean we have the display that is so that is so sick the, the caliper with the brake, that's so funny. It's 95 Chevrolet S10. I mean, that is so sick. Damn, that is a really nice black. He's got the uh, the lowrider uh, symbol right here for his hood prop. And he did this like little, I'll, I'll call it like a top shroud right here. He, he had a bunch of stuff chromed inside of his engine bay, the, all the pulleys. I mean, it just looks so good. And there's so, so much more that's been done to this truck over the winter since last time we've seen it, but I had to show you it. Oh, that's so nice. So we're over by the Ford class and I came across the Shelby. I am loving this display right here. That is so cool. This is the class Lexus is in. Old uh, Ford F100. Nice. It's pretty sweet little step side. Usually I see these as flare side, so that's pretty cool. Oh, the old Coca-Cola cooler. Oh, that's sweet. Right over here. Oh, an international. I love the way they did this box with the wood wood bed. Check that out, Lex. That's beautiful. Yeah, international. This is pretty cool, too. I'm not... Not too familiar, we're gonna look up here. It says it's a gladiator. It's pretty cool. Big hard top. Man. Right over here is Lexus's truck. Parked right next to it. There's a, this thing is pretty cool, square body. I love the color. The plate, not LS. <laughs> And then a Bronco. This is another really clean, like this is a really, really clean example of a factory Bronco. T's Audi is parked over there. It's a pretty cool little M series BMW. And this is Adam's beautiful white LS 400. Right on this side is Remy's Alpha. And we have this beautiful Porsche with the, uh, the pop-ups out. It is the 928. Yo, so I had to grab a video for you guys. Adam put a Japanese plate on the front of his car and it looks sick. It's a really good, uh, really good touch on the car. Over in the Chevy side, there's a Corvette, a, I think 57 Nomad, C8, 69 Chevelle, and a 69 Camaro. But right here, I had to show you guys this uh, early old school Galaxy. He's got a 5.0, which I assume probably came out of a Fox body or something at the time. And he has Thunderbird interior, which fits really, really well in this car. I mean, it is just, it is just really cool how well that fits in this car. And right along here in the rest of the Ford class is this just perfect 69 Mach 1 Mustang. I mean, almost like very concourse, all the stickers and tags. All the interior, whoo. There's a, there's a clock inside his uh, dash on the passenger side of the dashboard. I mean, just everything is so cool about this. <laughs> this looks like it's uh, the original window sticker. Man, that is wild. So right over here is the pre-50s class. A lot of these are like 30, 31, 32s. A lot of Fords actually, I think they're all Fords. But it's pretty sweet to see. A lot of coupes. 
There's one truck at the end over here too. But I mean, you know, all the old plates, 1930. The headlight visors are a cool touch on both of these. So cool. <laughs> so another cool thing too is a lot of these coupes have a seat right in the back. A little bit more of a, a little bit more access for passengers. Pretty cool 59 green Barracuda. It's beautiful, beautiful colored uh, Thunderbird. I guess it's not a very common color to see on these. Right over here, there's a, I think 55 Nomad. And uh, right on this side, what do we have here actually? I'm not too familiar. I think it's a Ford. Yep. What do we got? It's called a custom one. Pretty cool. It's got a Thunderbird V8 in it. Very, very custom car right here, the Buick. I feature this quite a bit in some of the other videos. The old school custom look. A 57 Chevy and a Ranchero on the other side. And right over here is the 60s class. We have a 66 Mustang. Sitting there, there's this gorgeous Pontiac GTO. A lot of chrome in here. I mean, that is that is some serious like time and work and money to do that. Say 65 Impala, right here. And a the four-door Chrysler 300 with the big fins. I love that. And I love the color. Another, uh, oh, this one's, a, this one's actually a Bel Air. This one's a 65 Bel Air. And lastly on this side is a 66 Chevelle. Pretty neat. He's got the little LED headlights in the front. And a little restoration book. That's always cool to see everybody's progress on their cars. Right over here is a 74 F250. The dent side, very cool. And it's cool there's trim inside of that, that dent side. Right here is a Malibu. I'm not familiar with the year, but very cool. It shares a lot of similarities, obviously, with the Monte Carlo of the time, especially that nose. It's pretty sweet. And over here on some, uh, I think they're American, yeah, American racing wheels there kind of chrome dish ones we had some of those on the lower two-wheel drive black truck all oh, the flames are pretty cool especially on the paint right on the street rod side there's a 32 roadster right here all the chrome accents Ooh, pretty cool i actually just learned the other day the roadsters do not have windows it's pretty cool on the side there and there's this 28 two-door Ford with the scallop paint job, the pinstriping. I'm loving that plate down there. It all just, I definitely voted for this car, can't even lie. I really, really like this. Then we have this uh, mint green 1933 Ford. This is pretty sweet. He's got some of those like, I guess they're, they're called center lines, but um, pretty sweet little aluminum wheels, very 90s style. It's really similar to what the purple truck has. This is more of a unique one. It's a 37 Plymouth on some weld wheels. It's pretty cool. A little uh, two-tone paint scheme down the side with a black in the middle. Oh, I love this interior. That gray is very, very clean on this car. There's the Barracuda right on this side. <laughs> I love the display. This is a 66 Plymouth VIP. I'm actually not too familiar with this car. Another really big body two door though. These are, uh, this is this is more or less the boat car class for sure. And to, ma to make sure that my friend Adam put an anchor outside of his Chrysler. That is, that is so cool. This car is actually going to be being featured in a movie pretty soon here. It's already been filmed with the car. He's already gotten it back after, but I am excited for you guys to see that. I can't release any information though, I'm sorry. And right next to it is his friend's beautiful Chrysler 300. The, another just big, big body coupe. Oh, that's cool. The Life uh, magazines. Oh, that's really cool. Just of that year, 68. It's wild. Oh, and the plate, 68 300. Really, really cool. And this beautiful Plum Crazy Dodge Dart again. Little bit of the interior display on this car. 
All right, so I lied to you guys. I can tell you what the movie is. I just talked to the owner, and it's going to be in the new Stephen King movie, Salem's Lot. And uh, I'm actually pretty sure they put this uh, replica state inspection sticker for, uh, on his car for that movie. They were doing everything just very period correct. But I'll let you guys know when the movie comes out. Next time we see the car, I'm pretty excited to show you. All right, guys, well, everybody's pulling out of here now. But we did get first place for the tuner class. So that's that's pretty hype. I'm pretty excited about that. It was a great show. John got his first trophy as well, too, today. But yeah, this is pretty sick. But I'll, uh, I'll see you all in the next video. Don't forget to like and subscribe.